very good morning to you wherever you're watching us from i say watch because you can also be a part of this program online we're streaming live on youtube at vop 903 fm all social media handles that'll be the thing to look for so thank you for being a part of it good morning thank you for listening from wherever you are here in the country in nigeria in lagos <laughs> right we're going to be looking at the papers this morning. My name is Cordelia Obe. I'm your guide on the program. Let's start off with our proverb for the day. It's a very simple one. And in Shona, you know, one of those languages, uh, Shona, um, this one actually is from Zimbabwe. I would have said it in their language, but I'm sure if I tried myself, by the time I'm done, Nigeria will turn to South Africa because it may be incantation I'll be saying. So let me just use the English version, which simply says, a child that does not cry will die in the carrier. For instance, baby that is backed, hmm? that baby that is backed, if there is a problem, if the baby doesn't cry, the baby will just die there. So let's find out. For today, when we look at the papers, who is this child? in this country that should be crying out lest it dies when you hear the stories you will get to know who should be crying out if it's you if it's me we will find out let's start with the punch the major headline here electricity manufacturers okay electricity manufacturers labor tackle fg over 240 percent tariff hike insists on subsidy we also have U.S. offers help as nine die, 1,000 injured in Taiwan earthquake. Delta bloodbath, surrender like Okwama monarch, CDS tells suspected killers. FG reopens third mainland bridge, Lasma warns against speeding. It's true, don't get tempted when you get on that bridge to start speeding. I saw one guy doing the same thing, exact thing. The other time and it was scary so don't do it let's drive carefully freight forwarders reject new haulage rates for eastern ports when you go read this story you hear that they're saying it is not good at all is way too much and will not help anybody at all lakey port handles a hundred thousand containers in one year lftz say so impeachment how shaibu leaked government secret assembly tells panel let's take a couple of those stories to look at more the one about electricity uh, the manufacturers and organized labor they've kicked against the federal government's 240 percent hike in the tariff payable by electricity users enjoying a 20 hour power supply <laughs> 20 hours I, I think where i live is supposed to be like 20 hours power supply divide that by maybe how many that's what we get so is this still going to be the case if you read the story further you find find that uh, they said no for some of those places they've been downgraded because they're not getting as much as they should be getting as per supply well the government announced, announced the hike in the electricity bill at a press briefing in abuja by nerc on wednesday adding that those affected would not pay a tariff of 225 naira per kilowatt up from the previous rate of 68 kilowatts per hour hmm. that is a lot we'll hear what you have to say as concerning that later on and another from the punch i'll be taking the story on delta bloodbath surrender like okwama monarch cds tells suspected killers and this report is a fallout of uh, an interview session that the chief of defense staff general christopher musa had on wednesday uh, it was a program he was on on arise tv and uh, he is saying the traditional ruler had given himself up others should those who were involved in the killings and he went on to explain more about this when i get to the report from this day you get to hear more firsthand because there are some things a bit unclear in some of the other reports I read from this story. The particular one said something that confused me because he had said that his soldiers went there unarmed 
because it was a peacekeeping thing. But another report said something else. So that's why I'm going to take it just from this day because they had that interview. We will hear more from them. Now let's look at the Vanguard. And from the Vanguard, we have this one. Electricity concerns as tariff hike hits consumers. Hmm. There are more stories here. Naira appreciates to 120, uh, 1,260 Naira trade dollar in parallel markets. Why residents of Okwama community can't access their homes now? CDS. And the explanation is simple that the place has been condoned because they are doing search, they are doing investigations, they are trying to uh, mop up arms, and so on and so forth. All right? Wiki, we are Nigeria's most transactional politician, Secondus is saying here. Nathaniel Bassi files petition against four social media users over, okay, let, let's get the full headline, over paternity rumors. I'm sure you know that story. If you do not know that story, you'll get to find out later on. We may just be talking about it. But you see, you see that filing there. Hey, it sweet many of us because people just go online and misbehave. But now it's beginning to catch up. Okay, so let's take a couple of uh, stories, expand a little. Why residents of Okwama community can't access their homes now? CDS, um, you can find that full report. And I told you a bit from that um, report here, given the reason they're doing this. Eight suspects have since been declared wanted in connection with the brutal murder of the military personnel by the defense headquarters. One has given himself up and is asking the other seven to come out. And the story is a rather deep one. It says we are currently conducting a cordon and search in the community. And cordon and search operation means we are searching every nook and cranny within the community because they have a lot of illegal funds from crude oil theft. Anyway, they have bought a lot of weapons. It is for us to thoroughly clean the community. It goes on, the story goes on and on, and you can get the full details from that. Um, we also have this one from the Vanguard, where it's talking about the electricity. Two million consumers affected by hike in electricity tariff will take um, leadership leadership is also talking about new tariff band a homes may spend a hundred and seventy thousand naira on electricity monthly this is against about 50k that they usually will spend huh, that's a lot of money fct projects i won't bother about sadist wiki says chief um niger chief judge slams police over incarceration of inmates Sustain lessons of Ramadan, Remy Tinubu tells Muslims. Abure escapes assassination, house raised. This is according to the LP. Let's take just one of the stories there because time is running away with us. And the story of Abure says that the fire has started at about 1 a.m. They said a mysterious fire. And they also claim that an assassination attempt had already been made on his life and the residents went up in flames about 1 a.m. They almost could not escape because the fire had gotten up to the staircase before the family. Somehow they were able to evacuate them, currently in hospital. Well, we'll talk about that assassination. Well, uh, this day has CDS military legally deployed its men to Okwama community to effect arrest. There are other stories there. You also have the FG raises electricity tariffs for high-level power consumers to 225 naira per kilowatt hour. Okay, uh, virtually almost same stories we have there, but I told you I was going to look a little deeper into the one that has to do with um, Okwama. And he says here, the CDS said, that what people do not understand is that this is not just the military, that the commander himself, the president himself, has sent a joint investigation team and the army is not doing it alone. So he's saying that is a combined effort. 
they have virtually everybody in there you have the navy the air force police dss and other security agents are part of this uh, particular joint investigation team and he said that it is meant to you know find out the truth the team had been there for a peacekeeping mission and so they were not armed that was why they were able to surround them shoot kill and dismember their bodies he went on to say a lot talked about the person who is a suspected uh, brain behind everything and that particular person the okwama community has said that we do not know this person is not part of our community they say well the story is long go and read it up yourself to find out more and i'm looking forward to hear your own comments as per uh, all the stories we've talked about i'll be joining uh seen uh, rufai uh shortly rufai will be joining us shortly to talk about some of the stories once he said you let me know is it there now hey rufai rufi fire are you there i can't seem to hear him could you check it hi okay obviously it's connection refi okay we'll try get that while, while we're still waiting just say hello refi immediately um you get through immediately you can hear me hello yes yes hello, hello. yes I can. hello I can hello can you hear me i can, I can hear, hear you can I, you hear me i can hear you loud and clear good morning how are you okay this is enemies in the zanga try again <laughs> now this story from we'll be trying again but let me quickly take this one from the nation where we have the story that the navy uncovers four hundred thousand capacity diesel bunker in a home in lekki hey no no key person how four hundred thousand capacity diesel diesel bunker in lekki home and the story goes on to show a lot of things and one wonders how they have loads of jerrycans there they have tankers they have this in a community where people live people everywhere you're doing this without giving a care in the world goodness and mercy well they were able to uncover this uh, illegal illegal in quotes uh should i call it a refiner <laughs> I don't even know Rufai. Good morning. You're Mo back. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So well, I mean, I, I said the. the cop okay, I, I think this line, this particular Ooh. line, right now, oh, is so is. Very, very is Okay, okay. okay. hold on, Rufai. Rufai, you know what? I'm going to try you from somewhere else. Let's try. You can hang up on this one. Let me call you from the other side because this one is a bit dodgy. Uh, you can have this immediately. He picks. We'll, we'll carry on with that one. That line is a bit dodgy. So, okay. Is there now? Okay, can you hear me better now? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Now. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear uh, me? Good. Okay, great. As, as I was saying, uh, I think the electricity tariff mm -hmm. is for those on band A, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, band A are most the areas I get over 20 hours per day. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question is so what uh, the, the areas on, around the Coivia that definitely will fall into that. Mm -hmm. But the question is how much of those hours of life they will get a day and you know how we will stay the level of electricity they get for productivity so i think those are the excellent questions we need to be able to ask ourselves but well, the reason why they're increasing the price they're saying is because of uh, the increase in the price of gas mm -hmm. and there's a pass on cost to people so the question is how can we nip you know uh that's in the board by also trying to cushion the effects of people because that money is just too high for a lot of people I'm telling you, you know when you pay that amount in electricity bill 
your revenue is wiped away. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Then the next question will be... Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can yeah. you hear me? The next question will now be, what happens to the companies? Because Band A usually com uh, covers a lot of companies, manufacturing companies, and so on. That will lead to another level of, of price hikes. Because these people will have to transfer these high rates down yeah. to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was okay. And that was only to attend that effect on inflation. And only to think we are trying to bring inflation. So that was only to inflation, and that's why a lot of people, manufacturers, and other you know uh, some society sectors have been calling for government to be able to step in and push in the effects. Mm -hmm. But it's a growing concern, and let's see how this pans out. But definitely, something also needs to be done at some point. Mm -hmm. Okay, and okay, somehow where I was working with uh, from is what we're using to to talk to you now uh you heard some of the other stories i shared the okoma community uh the fact that is a joint yes uh, yes, yes fact. Investigative team all right go ahead i would like i'd like to talk about that because yeah because i i, I and my team when i interviewed the cds yesterday and you know i even had to caution the cds when he used words like oh Normally, if it was before, you would hear things like the military flatting community. And I have to say, no, Ogamsa, this is this is a democratic government. You can't talk about words like so much. You're saying you're having a military operation. People can't come in there. You're saying you're trying to touch other people. You're saying you're blaming the villagers. But there's been stories of a lot of hurt perpetrated on the people. Uh, it was just only that submitted itself. His wife was on TV the other day, on the weekend, Telling them how you know to swear that they were not about what, what has happened, so he needs to realize. And this idea of yes, President Tinubu has given us the order to fish out the killers. Don't forget we are democratic, but even if you fish out the killers, the military cannot summarily execute them. You still need to take them through the judiciary and the court of law, you know, to be able to get a case. So it's going to be Nigerian military or empty vessels, where it's going to be. So we must also remember that we are in a democratic regime. As a democratic government, so let's mind that. That's what I'm yeah. oh, uh, okay. interview. You, and you, uh, you, also, the story. No, hold on. So, uh, hold on before we leave that place, uh, Rufai. You know, the part where he said that they went there, they were not armed. They were not armed. Uh, and I'm wondering uh, how many, because of the, it was a peacekeeping thingy, so they were not armed. And for, you had that interview done. Funny enough, I read in another paper that he was quoted differently. That they were trying to gather that the ammunition or the weapons belonging to these people have not still been found. So I'm a bit confused. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think it was true that they were not armed. I don't think it's true that they were not armed. And like you said... Through deductive reasoning, if you say they were not armed in one breath, in another breath, you're saying they're trying to recover the ammunition. So I don't try. There was an exchange of gunfire. Obviously, they were there was an overpowering. I think one of the most vivid event, uh, evidence as regards this Okwama matter was an eyewitness account. They couldn't show the eyewitnesses on DRTV, just a remote television, though in Asaba, mm -hmm. where they interviewed some people in the community actually said their own version of what. Mm -hmm. I think that very important version that they might also want to use the prosecution of this case, you know, because a lot of things have been said. And people have also even raised the point that it's not today that we've had people pass military parts not support them the military, we condemn that totally. Mm. But all of a sudden around it. Whatever it is might be the case almost to the end of the matter and the rule of law must be the end of the day. That's yeah. the most important thing about this Obama the battle. Okay, and you wanted to talk about uh, something else before I pulled you back? What's that? You wanted to pick up another story before I took you back. Can you hear me? Yeah, I wanted to talk about uh, the use of social media. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to talk about the use of social media and this matter, the Basi debacle. Mm -hmm. I think it has to be said, people should be careful. In the, in the process of trying to catch 
groups are just trying to you can defend people and hurt them so much yeah. i don't think it's fair but samuel bassi going to visit mr chivo's child and all of a sudden they say oh, the child looks so much like it. i mean people do it it's supposed to be a joke for them but it's not fair it's dark humor it's stupid humor mm. and i think that's about to take it up with them you know this is not nice at all you can't keep you know hurting people and hurting their names and all of that and another story i'd like to talk about is the student loan thing president yeah. has finally signed it again so you know they have to take the bill back to the national assembly and they had a couple of iterations and they signed this into law they said nobody will be left behind so i think the test of every bill is a diplomatization and the bill is a living document so from time to time we also see iterations as regards this bill you know but anyway i've always argued that for me a student loan bill should be rejected in such a way that it's more about a grant for student not loans because you are just going to more problems because mm-hmm. to a large extent you're going to have people that cannot pay back this money because of the economic situation and these are going to bring his own attendant challenges and risks so mm-hmm. so these are the things i've always thought about and and my views are in line with what as well as because i almost also said you know with the student on the backbone yeah I, and you know one thing that uh, they said finally they were able to i think they'd removed the very stringent conditions for the guarantor the salary threshold of the family and so on if these people had all these intact why would they be looking for a loan and i'm glad that they were able to get rid of some of those uh, stringent conditions to allow people get uh, access to the loan itself now I-, I wanted to ask about this what you thought of this don't dare me fubara wants wiki's loyalists and he said look you see that thing Mr. President said we should do. I'm doing it for the sake of peace and it's a political solution. So don't think that my, my what do you call it, my looking for peace is a, a sign of weakness. He said that if they try him, he will shock them. <laughs> if they dared him, that's Fubara warning. Uh, weak as loyalists. Your take on that? I'm, I'm, I mean, it, it has to be said, when you look at political situation but you have all of you are reaching mm. now from fighting with Fuba, wiki has also gone ahead so i think fight with uh, uh with uh, Odili. this was the same Odili that he said oh, at some point that he will never of that but you see i don't take politician hold on to should be how these politicians can develop their own prospects mm. these people fight today because their interests are not online tomorrow once their interests are aligned they move on so Plus all of them, you know, the, the friend with the Kiss and shows. So they're all the same thing. And um, I don't really take you know, seriously, you know. And uh, I think we have made our own point as regards when we uh, went to sign people's suicide for him. And hopefully if he comes out of it, uh, his ambition, I mean, or his... Uh, if he's able to retain this the second time, maybe he will consolidate power. You know, politicians will always play this game. We, at some point, too, Wiki was playing this game with Amechi. He was a little bit triumphant, and that's why he's where he is today. So, mm. But it's, it's a matter of time. Yeah. And um, this thing about... ...stage the... of political play in Nigeria. Before you know it, they, they will leave the scene. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then they too will not have... And then they too will not have their own god uh, God children who will not start fighting. It's an endless cycle of wahala now let, let's and that, and that mm-hmm. is and so that go ahead it will happen because because nigerians give them the chance to do it if the mm. people stand firm and say this is what they want through the ballot they will not get a chance to do all of this true, you that. true that now uh we'll be wrapping up soon uh national chairman of the labor party Th- this issue with the labor party i keep asking all this infighting these and that labor party do they really think that the people who are supporting that party, they are supporting because of the party itself? If that candidate leaves, do they think they still have a party? What's all this fighting about? Now, there is this one that just came out, the news making uh, the headlines today that Abure had uh, escaped an assassination bid and that his house caught fire at about 1 a.m. A mysterious fire, they, they said. Now, mysterious fire, what do they mean by mysterious fire? And that alarm was raised by neighbors and security men living in the compound. What's mysterious that they didn't tell us when the assassination bid 
or cold and they didn't tell us any other thing about the cause of the fire okay this is mysterious why it is mysterious and it's becoming rather i don't know how to uh, what to add to the rather so i will not spoil um I, 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 I think some people's mood the fire in abroza should be investigated uh i i feel you know commissioner uh, has said goodness me i i feel sad that that is happening to him i think he should investigate the fire and i'm happy i hope everybody's safe i hope everybody's not hurt and uh you know a fire happening to anybody is a sad thing but as regards mm -hmm. fighting of the labor party it always happens with the political system once you have any level of success you also have a lot of level of trepidation and that's what's playing out in the labor party as we speak today like i said of the apc at some point the labor party stinks they're not able to get their acts together mm. uh, the success has been their arbitrage and that's mm. except the people are willing to be able to demand accountability across board and nothing really moves and that's the sad reality of our national law okay and um, yes talking about whether they're safe or gladly they were able to evacuate them from their house, even though the fire had reached to like the staircase, but they were able to get the family out. They were said to be in the hospital, a private one, where they're presently receiving treatment. And yes, we hope that it gets investigated so that investigated so that the mystery is removed and whatever the assassination bid was about, we hope that that doesn't happen again to him or to anybody at all. Now, before you go, any of the other stories you'd like to talk about, you can just go ahead. So, for me, I mean, uh, before we pretty much uh, go today, uh, one story that is really, you know, jumping to my heart and um, it's something I've constantly wanted to talk about. And I, I think I didn't, you know, mention some part of it is, you know, a constant understanding of the fact that with great power comes great responsibility and as regards to social media use as regards the story of my time I particularly feel very 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 sad you know at some point some people just you know let me have a kids but the truth is it's not that easy so sometimes you push to stand around please in the, in the spirit of catching your cruise remember that people also have promotions yeah and that's just responsible social media for you you can tell a lie and constantly repeat the lie it's not right and i just hope you know this is, is, is done as regards this and, and the right position as i made you can just spread things like that because it's malicious against the person's character and you should be very careful yeah and if you have done that in the past make amends please yeah and that's i think what said. i think something we have to say again is this when you retweet something somebody had said without a disclaimer, when you quote without a disclaimer, and sometimes even when you read a disclaimer, you are part of the problem too. One of the people mentioned in that petition immediately yeah. came out with a disclaimer that no, I only retweeted oh, because I usually uh, share stories. And, and I asked him, did you or did you not add to that your so-called retweet that... When they go do the DNA test, did you not say that? Would you go get yourself a lawyer. So people should know that. By the time you're helping to spread this, you can be added to <laughs> any list at all. Hmm? Yes, it has to be said. Yeah. Yes, that's be said. Yeah. So we all have to be careful. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rufa Hosseini, for your yeah. time. Thank you very much. The program today. Thank, thank you so much. Have the best of the day, right? Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. You're listening to VOP, Voice of the People. 903. Okay. I wanted to call it a name that didn't exist. <laughs> I get used to it. Sorry about that. 90.3 FM, Voice of the People, reaching you live from Lagos, wherever you're joining us from. Again, I say welcome. We've just taken a look at the papers from this end. Time for you to join us now. 0700-903-903-903, 0700-903-903-903, the number you can call. You could also send your messages on WhatsApp, 0817-175-6338. You could also call that number too. And then on social media, the handles, all of them are 
at VOP 903 FM and you could be watching us live on YouTube. All right. Okay. So once you search, we'll go on. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling magnanimous. I'm feeling like a, a, a in fact, so we're going to be doing 90 seconds. No more one minute, 90 seconds. Okay. Let's go. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Madam Cordelia. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. What's your name? My name is Peter Ufifu. Oh. I'm calling from Abanaja in Ikotu. Welcome. Okay. I've increased the time maybe to, to 90 seconds. So, yeah, go. I want to say that Fugara, by the governor of River State, mm. is sitting on the case of gunpowder. Hmm. Because he has not done what is actually supposed to be done in respect of the budget. If any other person, any other caller, will tell me, you know, we come to this national radio and tell us that this is a place Your line, Your line is a bit dodgy. I don't know if you can change your location a bit. And that is without the package to the legislator. Let us know. Because at the moment, the budget that this man is, that the Kubara is uh, 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 using, has not been passed by the House Assembly of Cuba State. That is that. Then, on the electricity tariff that has not been increased from about 66 naira to 225 naira per kilowatt. To me, uh, it is commendable by the government. It is very much commendable. That is, this electricity, you should know, is being used by people in Bante. That is, those people who use electricity at least for 24 hours in a day. You know, that we are talking about it in Dr. Ali. So it is commendable because we have learned that Nigeria is where we have the least electricity. Okay. As if the time itself checked you out, uh, you've you've done one minute thirty seconds. As I said, I moved it up to ninety seconds, so that was just fair. You said that it's commendable; that price is good. Hmm. Okay, let's see if the next person will agree. Good morning. Good morning. You have to turn down the volume on your radio set when you call. We have to stay civil, and you have to keep to the time so more people can have the opportunity of joining in. Good morning. Good morning. All right, sir. May we know your name and where you're calling from? I'm Ben, calling from Eda. Welcome. Go ahead. 90 seconds. Thank you. This uh, dollar that is coming down now is not a manifestation of good people. It's a manifestation of defeat. People who, who are trying to, who, who, who are accepting this dollar, and nobody, they are running away, our importers are not directing their goods to other African countries like Gabon. We have a clear container with one million. I did it to about over 15 million. So all the people, so many importers are people who are sending containers from diaspora now. They are no longer sending. Because when they send, after sending, they purchase dollar. So the people who need this dollar now, they have run away. That is why you see dollar now coming down. All the politicians start buying it again. It will start rising up. It is not as a result of a good policy by CBN. So they shouldn't go slow. If you continue to be coming down, people who buy it. Hello? Hello? All right, the line went off. I wanted to ask him, when you send the containers to places like the Bone and all that, do you eventually bring them to Nigeria by road, or how does it happen? Well, I'm wondering if you call back, maybe I could ask you that question. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is uh, Edna. Oh, Edna, I got a female caller. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, turn down the volume on your radio set, please. Do that. Okay. All right, go. You have 90 seconds. My contribution is about the man that said uh, that commanded the tariff. Mm. That man has been a problem to uh, the to, uh, VOP. <laughs> and uh, maybe because he, uh, you really, you really you came, you have not known that man. I want you to they have stopped that man from making comments, from making contributions. 
and I want you to also mark that man and stop him. Why? Be, That's the um, question. He, he on, says Edna. his statement hold on, Edna. have not been good. Edna, hold on. I don't know how this man will be against the masses. <laughs> whenever he makes statements, whenever he makes contributions, he doesn't make contributions that favor that favor masses. He will always uh, be making comments that uh, supporting the, the 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 people that are suppressing us. Why must he be doing so? Is he say is a brothers or is whatever? Are they in government that whenever that minister to fail or to forward to so makes contributions, he will always uh, make it to 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 support the people that are suppressing the, the masses. Is it good? Okay, Edna. Please try to mark that man. Okay, Edna. And whenever you are having your pro your program, stop him from making a calling. Okay. Thank you. Edna, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. I'm going to respond to you now, Edna, before the next uh, call will come in. Uh, it will not be right for me to stop him from making a comment. As long as he's saying it's, uh, he's not insulting anybody, that is what he believes in. Whether it's for gain, whether it's truly true, we can't say, we can't read his mind. But what he said, nothing was wrong with what he said. He said, it is good increase the money there are people out there who truly believe it is good so we can't stop them when we say voice of the people when two or three people come together they all wouldn't think the same way would they no so by the time we all come on radio come on this program we're saying the same thing agreeing with ourselves that we don't want to zombie be that now so let him have his own point of view it may annoy you you may not agree with it but he has a right to his own opinion as long as he's saying it decently. Now the day will not talk and well, now that day problem could be. You get what I'm saying? So please bear as we move on. We'll take this, um, we'll take some messages now. Um, good morning to you. Uh, what are we really getting from Nigerian government as citizens? We are all paying for everything we use. No water, no light, no food, no good roads, no good schools, no good health care. We're a government of our own. If they have the opportunity, they will ask us to pay for the air we breathe. What a country. This is Martin Duru, uh, a.k.a. Mayor from Ikotun Egbe. Ikotun Egbe. All right. I have yours here. Uh, Benjamin from Shogunle. Good morning to you too. Ten months of subsidy gone policy. President Tinubu, we are yet to see any of the promises such as salary increase, CNG buses, Refinery fulfilled. To me, President Tinubu removed subsidy from petrol to make more money available for politicians to share at the expense of suffering masses of Nigeria. Hmm, that's what you think. Now the government has increased tariff of electricity again and said it will only affect batch A. They are deceiving the people. Producers fall on batch A and the burden will be transferred to the consumer the masses only god will help us in this country called nigeria okay let's take yours good morning good morning how are you hello my sister good morning morning you're welcome your name and where is you that you yes it is what's your name where are you calling from yeah my name is Okuchi from uh Yegu. all right which story are you talking about your time starts now go ahead yeah, first of all, let me take one in Nigeria. Let us engage the hope in this country. There is going to be good hope, number one. Number two, mm. we care, should adjust these ways of doing things. Okay. And the people that are talking about him, we know he did a, a nice governor, governing in um, Iver State. But now, since he entered SDP, he should remove himself from intruding on the present governor here. And even say they should not come in the rapport, people. Hello, hello, hello. It's from your end. It's from your end. So, what I'm saying is that we should adjust a little, allow this governor to work. Mm. It's for the betterment of the people. And the country will be good if other. Uh, governors who further down and uh, allow the people, govern the people very well. This will work out. 
So right. thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. I will take some messages. Um, it's what we're okay. It's what we're seeing and hearing from the elder states men come leaderships suitable enough to turn the tides of unsatisfaction, impoverishment, and perturbed citizens via governance is a question. I didn't get your name, but that's from you. Good morning to you too. Increasing electricity tariff at this critical period is an act of wickedness and not being pathetic um, to the sufferings okay, of Nigerians. In other countries, the government or always subsidizes public utilities, but here in Nigeria, the reverse is the case. Nigerian government will prefer to subsidize religious pilgrimages while the masses are languishing in abject poverty. This is very bad. His Royal Highness B.C. Woko in Oshodi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Cordelia. Good morning, brother. Was it? Oh, nice? yes. How was your night, son? It went very well. Yes, sir. God, God, God bless you for your good work. Thank you. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This King from Festac. All right, King from Festac. You have 90 seconds. Go. Please, I beg. One that man, Osifo, I've written the coin. Hey, 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 King, no, 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 no. Just as you get right into get right, it not cost uh, no, anybody. Uh, you know, it just it, 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 Wait, 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 anybody. wait, 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 <laughs> because see what it happened. Okay, uh, King. Uh, but if you call my own, so for no, okay, King, King, hold on. Okay, okay, thank you, King. Okay, you've said thank you to King. Listen to me, and I'm going to stand by what I've said. As long as he's civil. We cannot all say or believe the same thing. If you say the increment is good, to him is good. You call me. Talk about the story you want to talk about and tell me why it is bad. It is a debate. It is a debate. Everybody cannot say the same thing is in a debate. Uh -uh, we be zombie. No. Even AI. You tell AI do this. They are the own joint. So leave him to say what he has to say. You can counteract what he has to say with your own fact. Okay, any other person who's going to call me to complain about Usifo or Disifo, Daisafo, whatever, I don't go take that call, no. I don't, me myself, don't give my own warning. Let, is somebody there? Okay, good morning. Hi, morning. Who that? Hello? Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Your name? He's from uh, Patrick. Okay. Calling you from Uganda. Patrick from Uganda, could you please turn down yeah. the volume on your radio set? I'll be looking at the stories in the papers right now. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Your time it's starts a, now. Calling from a, well, you can. It's increasing of uh, this leper light. Mm. Hello? Yeah, I'm listening to you. I'm, I'm, li I'm listening Hello? to you. I'm listening. The increasing of the light. Mm. Hello? We can hear you talk. Okay, if you can hear me now, I could hear you clearly. Once you come on, you can go ahead and talk. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take some messages now. Esther, we can go ahead with some messages. Then I'll go back to the calls. Now, good morning to you. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. I agree. Enough is enough for Mr. Wiki, you say. He has assumed the position of a god. Meanwhile, he is Mr. Okay, talking, um, okay. talking about the Igbos and... I don't really get how you've written this. Maybe you edit. You can edit your WhatsApp messages. You edit. I want to refer him to history. In fact, anyone that wants to prosper in life includes the God. Okay, you know what? You're going to edit what you've sent and resend it because I'm kind of confused. All right. Good morning to you. Are there places in Nigeria that they have power for 20 hours in Nigeria? I don't know. That was a question you asked. Good evening. 
Oh, uh, good morning. Okay, you are calling from Satellite Town, or sending your message from Satellite Town. Uh, all right. I don't think that's from me. Okay, we should realize that its tenure has expired and must allow the present governor of River State to deliver good governance to the people. The Niger Delta people do not accept bullies. Wike should channel his energy to address FCT issues. May God help and heal our land. Frank Onero from the U.S. Good morning. I have you on the line now. Good morning. Hello? Hello, good morning. How are you? Thank you, Madam Cordelia. Please, uh, the network disturbed me before. As I was not going to say, let me quickly rush it. Can you amount to double job added? If government increases the tariff, yet the amount of opinion, there is no place in Nigeria where single people, resident, residential, be residential, or industrialists or companies are enjoying life for 20 hours in a day. 24 7. Mm -hmm. That is just the point I wanted to make before the, the network cut me off. But be that as it may, if I try this industrial list, I enjoy 20 hours, 24 hours, and then 20 hours uh, in a day, 27, like 24 uh, uh, hours uh, 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 in seven days, then it will be good if the tariff is increased. Because it is known that Nigeria is where we have the least tariff in the world. Yeah. Check me. But I'm sure that there's no place where we enjoy like 20 hours in a day. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to take one uh, 90 seconds to read some messages. I timed that too. Uh, yours, uh, good morning uh, about Delta killings. Why is it that the army are not doing the same approach in the northern states? Upon the atrocious crimes in the north, the army has not done the same and never knew the, uh, the approach before. Very, very unfortunate. Chikwas from Ojo Road. Uh, good morning, VOP. My name is Chide Berry Gaber from Ago. Let the federal government know that are human beings like them. God is watching all of us. Good morning to you too. We K, you say it's rather greedy. Don't even know why Fubara is plain gentle. If you stand as a man and speak the language, We K will understand. If Fobar knew the power he has as a governor, he will stand and face Wiki back to back. Casey Onoha from Ojo Alaba, and I have yours. Um, good morning. Nigeria has seen eight years of APC and currently 10 months in continued lost hope. What did Nigeria do to deserve this? Why not give the breath the masses were promised by BAT? Is it too hard for a regime to focus on a project and give... Um, is it give fight or light then carry then carry or without any light of achieving them uh okay smiley george from Lias liasu road some of the things you wrote smiley i couldn't get them very well and uh, good morning good morning good morning good morning cordelia good morning how are you where are you calling from Fine, uh, this is undiluted dose, man. Prepare them. I'm calling from Ladipo Market. So, right. Jekule precisely. All right, uh, go ahead and pepper them. I want to... Uh, I, seconds. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I want to see comment on that uh, Okuoma killing. Okuoma... Hello? Move away from that place. That is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Yes, we can hear uh, you now. I said, let the... Let to remove all the soldiers there. Yeah, let them go to north. There are so many places they will go and fight. Not to be there and killing. They are pursue everybody there and remain there. I mean, they want to build their camp there. So that is what I'm saying there again. Federal government is increasing the tariff of uh, Nepal. That is not our problem. It's not our problem. We are, we are saying that there is hunger in Nigeria and it's still increasing, increasing. Now, I'm fuel. There is catch of where now so many places. What, where are we going? Okay, now we are jubilating. Happy that the dollar is coming down. Dollar is not coming down. Though. All this dollar, one thousand two something. That is not that dollar is down. Dollar supposed to be six hundred naira, four hundred naira. So please let Mr. President wake up. Oh. There is no time again. Oh. All this one is telling us to wait to keep to keep patient. It is not what we are in. Let him wake. 
All right, pepper them this morning. Be like see network the pepper also and pepper you too. Sorry, but that's that. Thank you so much. Uh, I got your message. Nedu CIA from Imota Ikorodu. You say Auntie Kodlia, please mark down Mr. Peter Osifo. As the caller said, that Mr. Osifo is anti people because he's using VOP platform to look for cheap favor from this government. Ah, ah, Mr. Osifo, is that true? Ah, please, oh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, you, you heard what I said, Abby. Mm -hmm. Good morning to you, Ostino from Olodia, Papa. Cooking gas is chasing 2K a kilo. Nepa wants to increase electricity tariff by over 200%, and we're now praising Dangote for selling diesel that was under 600 naira in 2023 for 1,200 naira in 2024. Don't get me started with CBN and dollar prop propaganda. My brother, don't start, don't start. Ah, it is well low. That is what we we'll usually say. Yeah, but anyway, let me not go too far. Okay, um, that we'll be taking some from YouTube, but right now, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Cordelia. How good. are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. My name is Joshua. I'm calling from Germany. Ah, welcome. First time Ooh. talking to you, but Ooh. yeah, I always call in this me, program. Let me call. Yeah. Let me, hello, let, let me say good morning in German if I know that. Good morning. <laughs> Forget, hey, nah, 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 nah. It's not like that. It's a good to Morgan. It's true. Good to Morgan. I need to chop before I talk. That yeah. <laughs> okay, carry on. <laughs> you have 90 seconds. Yeah, that is. Yeah, uh, I see what is going on. I just want to make two comments. Number one is that the Nigeria government, they don't regard as a citizen as citizen. They don't even care if they have citizens listed. If mm. 10 people here come to the street and protest, people will take it, then they will sit down on it and find out what is the problem. Why do these people protest? And number two, can uh, a, a, one man be a governor of two places? Why is Wiki fighting for Rivers and fighting for Abuja? Like, he should talk, talk to the president so that they take him back to Rivers and bring Fubara back to Abuja. Mm. How long a man going to live that we so cloth with iron? So, yeah, the, the Bible says the, the love of money is the root of all evil. He should be content of what he has and leave river people alone. I'm not from rivers. They should let them have rest. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And enjoy your day. Now, let me read some messages from YouTube and we'll wrap this up. Uh, Ola Adewale, good morning to you. Too, and you're saying good morning miss cordelia from atl i'm looking forward i want to go to atl soon i don't tire for this on our heat for this nigeria mm. alainka venley hot you have to teach me how to pronounce this surname good morning to you too oh you're saying good morning to all of us here and Ola, you're saying congratulations nigerian student uh, nigerians on the student loan lori e is allow you go poopers in for trouble. I did today. The conditions for the student's loan are 12, and some are difficult. The government is not serious to me. And we have different things here, different messages. Also, <laughs> Obinwa says, Woman, stop that man, as the caller told you. Stop speaking English. Wait in, make I speak French until now. All of us did the same page if he had small. Uh, D. Frankie Dixon, the fire issue at the LP chairman's house should be thoroughly investigated. I agree with you too. K. Hong, on what basis should the citizenry be made to pay more for electricity in a country with a minimum wage of 30K and loss of Naira value of almost 40%? Your 300K month salary is nothing again. Hmm. All right. I got your messages and uh, well you guys are complaining a lot about that caller well we'll find a way around it i'm sure he too is hearing us and we'll definitely find a way around it to strike a balance so it's not one-sided uh, do we have time to take another call nope we should be wrapping up should we okay we should be wrapping up thank you very much for being a part of the program this morning and as i said the proverb was a simple one no if the child that is behind doesn't cry, it will die there. So from all the stories I've said, 
that which Peking supposed to they cry now. That baby when I back, I be now all of us supposed to they cry. Oh, to two more, man. Oh, to two I'm a mirror for Foma. Hope you slept well. I slept well of Foma of Foma. <laughs> Kadina, there's something I'm planning right now. You know, as federal government just uh, increased the electricity tariff, and, mm. uh, especially for urban cities, I'm planning of relocating back to my village. How do you yeah. see it? Okay, your village. Where is your village? In Imo State. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think uh, the mic is not sounding as it should. I'm not hearing you very well. Yeah, okay, okay. You want to go back to Imo State? Yo. You sure me could not go up here? They are brothers. Brothers. Uh, no, it should be brother and sister. One of them is supposed to be a woman. They say they be brothers. Two of them are man, man. Mm. Mm. Because uh, that money be go. It too much. Oh. From 68 naira to 225 naira per uh, kilowatt per second. And by the time you do like this, I don't finish. They don't go. I'm not the thing where they pay me. They don't even have uh, prepaid meters. And they say Estimated billing. Mm. It's going to 300,000 now per one uh, uh, this thing, uh, prepaid meter. You know, the other day I was complaining about this thing. I said, You were the one who gave these people the meter before now. If you're changing the meter, right? It's supposed to be like an exchange. We don't change this or collect this or give us this one back. It's very simple. Why, why ask them to pay? We must pay thousand. for everything. In this current economy, ah. that's too much. Now, wow. That's what I want you to look into. Ejo, Ejo, yesterday. Because it's, it's we don't know what is prepared meter. Yesterday, hey. our transformer don't blow. It don't blow. <laughs> <laughs> Even with all the powers that you have. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the transformer did not inform me before he blew. Yeah. So, the powers failed him. You know, I told you that last power that he was using, <laughs> right? They blew. I no talk her. You talk her. See, no, it's like the power that I've used it before in the spiritual you know, realm. You use a habit mm -hmm. of shaker. So, so the shaker, you have shaped the transformer. The transformer. Uh, you don't I blow. think uh, that power would have blown in FCT. We are here so we could be. <laughs> You know, Wike is warning us. Warning us. Mm. Uh, Wike is like. Telling us. Wike is like, he doesn't know to ask about that evil. <laughs> well, we, we going to release the Biando no, no. Makodo. He doesn't know to measure his brothers. He, he, he knows you are one of them. This is not about NNDV, NNDV. Wike to NNDV will respect. Simple. No, but wait, sir. do you know what I've come to learn since I came to this part of the country? I've come to learn that. Once you're not speaking Yoruba or Hausa, right? Mm. They just see all of us as. Once you're from after Ore, <laughs> all of us they, just, they are seeing us as the rest. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't know that without we, Soko, Igohado, because the oil, now we. We are the now pillar. We. Mm -hmm. Somebody should, uh, maybe Kodele, after now, just call him. So because I would have called him now, but. You know, I have some spiritual no, 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 connection. No, no. Don't that call is... him yet. Don't call him. Mm. I will call him myself. But you know, the sooner we all know that Nigeria is one, mm. without even the smallest tribe that you are calling a minority, without yeah. that tribe, there is no longer a balance. Nigeria is one. And when we say the major tribes, the major tribes of this country should learn to live together as one and should learn should learn to respect the so-called minority mm. because without the minority mm. they without gravel how snow will start mm. without minority there's no majority you know what i'm saying mm. yeah if four people know the rich person no no say rich mm -mm. if we know that you know no say you be so we all should come together as a country the sooner we do that we didn't hear the envy Senegal. Oh, they have a very young president. He looks so nice. He's pretty wise. And yeah. meanwhile, he has a young person come out. Uh, you we can't see this. You know, a few years ago when I went to Kennedy, you, you can't see this not thing Canada, happening. Not Canada. Don't laugh. Not uh, Canada. Kennedy. No, these people normally go to no, Canada. No, you went to Niger Republic. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, I didn't go. The guy don't vex. <laughs> oh, wow, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I have to go now. Thank you very much. I'm Cordelia Obey. I'll be back at 9.30. We'll be talking about some of these things in details by that time. I leave my guys to take over from this point. See ya. And Esther, thank you. 24-7 around the world. Stop. The best is for some of the people. My team is